How about this? The city of Napa will soon be home to more affordable apartments for seniors as the Mercy Creek Complex is scheduled to open up at the beginning of next week. The apartments sit on the same site as the old Mercy Hospital. Our Joey Prechtel joins us live in Napa with more on the project. Joey? Yeah, Mark, the idea for this project started all the way back in 2012 when the developer wanted to turn the Old Mercy Hospital into affordable housing, but a fire destroyed that building back in 2016, forcing the developer to start from the ground up. It was discouraging, but it's pretty cool to see out of those ashes this development come forward for our senior community. After being in the works for years, the Mercy Creek apartment complex for seniors 55 and older is nearly complete. Oh, it's huge. Um, it's not going to fill the need, but it is better than nothing. Andy Rodriguez with the Nampa Housing Authority says the project will help reduce the backlog of applicants trying to get into his agency's senior housing. So our waiting list for elderly apartments goes back to the very top candidate uh, is an applicant from 2012. The complex, which is still being worked on, has 50 units. 40 of them will have to have someone at least 55 years old living in them. The other 10 don't have any age requirements. As rents have continued to increase dramatically, Social Security and other forms of retirement have not kept up with the cost of living. The project is funded three different ways by low income housing tax credits, the Rocky Mountain Community Reinvestment Corps and the Nampa Development Corps. Altogether, it costs around nine million dollars and it's a project the mayor is excited for. A housing unit like Mercy Creek is extremely important to our seniors to help offset the rising cost of housing when they're living on fixed incomes. And it's also a project the Housing Authority says is badly needed in Nampa. So if you look at our population of nearly 100,000 uh, and we have 142 units, we're serving 1.4% of our population, which there's a larger need than that clearly in our, in our city. Now, Chance Hobbs, who is the developer of the project, told me that right now around 35 of the 50 units are spoken for. The complex does have studio, one bedroom, as well as two bedroom units, and rents are going to range anywhere from $350 on the lower end up to $800 on the higher end for those two bedroom units there. Mark, back to you. As he just said, it is a step in the right direction. Joey Prechtel reporting live for us tonight. Joey, thanks.